It's a gentle rain. Look, it's a little warmer here, too. We're getting war heated up and warmed up. These are some creepy-ass witcher swamps, huh? Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's a dead rabbit, and now whatever killed it is coming to kill me! Oh, it's a Charis dude. Okay, let's rumble. I didn't know they just fucking hung out here, huh? Whoa, it killed a fish too? Oh! Wow! Ah! Shit! Oh my god, it got so big! Oh! Jeez! Why did- <laughs>When we had last left The Last Dragonborn, they were in the strange, freaky little town in the middle of the swamps by the name of Morthal, where stranger times were occurring. Yes, a ghost child was discovered inside the burned, ruined building in the center of town by the graveyard site. And there, at the in the, in the middle of... <laughs> at, at night, did they discover... <gasps> they let the vampire trying to do some weird shit to that child's coffin. And she attacked! the dragonborn and Thonir was not far behind he was in shock and one thing led to another only for the entire town to come to wits and finally gather their torches and pitchforks in the dark of night to head out to Movart's lair a freaky vampire den filled with gore blood and horrific shit not too far away from town how was it gone by anyone's uh, ability to detect it. What a mystery. But nonetheless, this vampiric menace had infiltrated the area and was killing poor people in the middle of the night and probably day just as well. And so, the dragonborn entered the cave and slew the bazillion gajillion vampires within. It was incredibly difficult, and some would say nigh on impossible. But alas, the dragonborn was extremely cool and had some pretty big muscles and a smile that would make anyone cry. <laughs> and... With a wink of his left eyeball, did the Dragonborn instantly slay Movarth. Oh, defeated with one blow. The morale lost in an instant, shriveled away, turned into vampiric dust. Now it was time to return back to Morthal to finish and lay to rest all of the problems that had been plaguing the town. And it was time to head over further north just to do a little bit more business involving solitude or maybe the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Who could say? But one thing could be said, that this is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim! <laughs> Welcome back! <laughs> Good God. But what could be said, that this is the Elder Scrolls V! <laughs> You have looked upon it. This is it, you see. Butterflies on board all around the creepy cairn of bone and blood. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's get over to town before we freeze our keister off. Good lord. We got all nice and warm inside of... Hey, here's the thing. How is it that vampires are supposed to be cold-blooded, right? You would think that they would need to bathe in the sun like a lizard, right? Because they're, because they're cold-blooded. They would need to bathe in it to warm up or they would shrivel up. Oh, it's magic. Yeah, it's, it's magic. <laughs> That's why they don't need... It's magic shit. That's why. That's why. <laughs> because, you know, they're cold-blooded. Why not? Just like the Argonians, right? Let's see. Weren't there... Am I mistaken, or wasn't there, like, some, like, league of Argonian vampires? Or am I thinking of... Is it the Shadow Scales? No. No, Shadow Scales are a different thing, right? Maybe. No, I can't remember. Because I remember in Oblivion we brought up the idea of Argonians probably being few and far between among the ranks of vampires, right? Since they have the innate disease resist. But, oh, shit. Whew! I'm going back inside. <laughs> I'm not ready to rumble just yet. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Leave now or suffer dire consequences. Why? 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 You need to leave. Why? If you've business with the Jarl, I'd ask that you speak to me first. 
I'll take my leave then. Yeah, you leave, you dick. <laughs> what the fuck was up with that? <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, Jarl Edgrid Ravencrone, guess what? There was a terrible vampiric menace and we, we fucking took care of it. Me and Ilya and also Thonir, he kind of helped. <laughs> A bunch of people also offered to help, but they got pretty scared. There, to be fair, there was blood everywhere. <laughs> well, look at you. If only everyone acted like you did. What, and killed master vampires? Sure, I guess. <laughs> hey, why don't you make a deal with the Vigilance, huh? The master vampire Movarth is dead. By the eight, I didn't think he could do it. Me neither, honestly. Now maybe we can put all this behind us. Take this as a token of our gratitude. Great. Oh, shit. That is a good chunk of change. 1.2k? Anything else you need, my Jarl? There is room in my court for a new thing. Oh, my goodness. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. Oh, and isn't this one where However, we could build a house? I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my home. You help my people, and I'll make you my thing. Oh, shit. We may... Because there's no, you can have all three houses, right? You don't need to just pick one. In fact, it's encouraged on survival mode. Because can't you get an upgrade to like have fast travel to to and from that location via carriage? Oh, we should definitely do it. It would be an honor. Good luck. Oh. Oh, assist the people of Hjalmarch. Oh. Until next time. Okay, fair enough. Gorm. Hi. Hi. Okay. Let's see what's up. I with do you. what I can to see that Idgrut's time isn't wasted, and that she only has to deal with important matters. Oh, I can purchase a house already? Don't I need to be thing? There aren't any houses for sale in Morthal. Ooh. But if you're interested, I could sell you land in the hold where you could build your own house. <gasps> yes. Ooh, 5k. Ah, that's not too bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. Excellent. We're glad to have you as oh a landowner God. in Yalmarch. I've never Here's done the this. title to your steading. If you don't mind getting your feet wet. Your best bet is to head north past the mill. The odd tomb or two along the way won't bother you. The land is on the coast across from the Karth Delta from Solitude. An inspiring location, as you'll see. Ooh. Honestly, I was more tuned toward the one in Falkreath because I love the, you know, like, Twin Peaks-ass pine trees and all that. But, eh. All right. Yeah, we gotta check it out. But also, we need to help everybody. Jeez, who do we need to help out here? Huh. Let's see. Let's consult our quest journal here. Miscellaneous. Assist the people of Hjalmarch. Yeah, deliver Edgrod's note to Danica. Kill the bandit leader located at... Oh, the Song of the Alchemists. Right. Okay. Where's this bandit leader at? Oro... Orotine? Huh. Also, this keeps fucking up. I for real fixed it this time, and I logged back in, and it's fucked up again. I don't know. I can only temporarily fix it, I guess. Jeez, I don't know what's up with that. I think it might have to do with the the Content Creation Club patch. Maybe that's it? Maybe I need to uninstall the specific patch for it? Like, reinstall the entire thing, but just not patch this? I'm not sure. We'll, we're troubleshooting it. Thankfully, it's it's not super high up on our list of things to do. Okay. Let's see. I think we should do some of this shit, right? Yeah, deliver the note to Edgrid. Song of the Alchemist. We can pick that up in town. Let's visit the new property, though. Holy shit. I've never done this before. Did that dude even exist in the core game? Did they add a new NPC in the middle of every area that does a similar service? Maybe? Are we diseased at the moment? No, we're not. Good. Okay, let's bring up our map. Because now that I think of it, he doesn't have a, a voice actor that is present in the core game, right? Or at least he's not putting on a voice that's present in the core game. Oh, there it is. Hey, it's right over by Ustengrav. Whoa, fuck. Okay. Yeah, this seems great. Let's go up over there. Shit. All right. Let's mark our location, move it. Oh, this will be fun. Yeah, I've never done this. We can finally start pouring our ingredients towards something, right? I mean, that said, maybe this is kind of a bad one to get f right off, right? Because isn't one of them, like, right over here, kind of by White Run, right? Isn't one of them kind of around this location? And then Falkreath is kind of down here. 
I feel like the Falkreath one would be more ideal because there's not very many cities here. In Falkreath, you can only travel two, whereas once you get the upgrade, you could travel to your manor or whatever down here and then travel back away towards something else, right? Whereas here, like like I said, Morthal's right there, Solitude's right there. Well, I mean, I guess more so Solitude is right there, right? Because the other two, Dawnstar and Morthal, are only one way. Yeah, I feel like this one might actually be the worst. I don't know. The the one here at Whiterun, probably also not too good, because I think it's like around this area. I think I was looking at some mapping of where they all were. On the good old UESP.net.com? I always forget. All right. Oh, oh, right, there's a dragon on the loose somewhere. We need to be careful about that. Okay. Let's see, let's head on out over there. We did actually legit clear out, yeah, Movarth's lair. Fuck him. There we are. All right. Let's see, you'd think that the Vigilance would have some sort of interest in Morthal and clearing all that shit out, but I guess not, right? Good lord. Once we hit up the house, we can head over to Solitude, I think, right? And then we can look through, like, their bookseller and all that. And we can, uh, get some some of that shit done, right? Then we have a- yeah, we have to drop off the item at White Run. Can get that done, too. Jeez, how far out do we have to travel to get music- oh, there we go! Hey! Nice. Alright. I don't know why I keep checking my map, it's just a force of habit, I guess. <laughs> I even laid down the custom marker so I wouldn't have to. Jeez. What a fool I am! What can you do? Alright. Ooh. Some giant lichen. I love it. All right, anything else? Look at these, these fungal dudes. I do love, we've touched on it before, but I love how much more pronounced the different biomes are in Skyrim compared to Cyrodiil, right? It feels a lot more in line with, with Morrowind, right? Gotta love all the biomes. Ooh, ooh, it's a spider lord, okay. Let's get him. Let's see, what's my ability here? Freeze him. There we go. Ooh, I'm a little hungry, right? Okay, it's fine. Let's apply this, why not? There we go. Cool. Good, good, good. We probably don't need to hit him with the ice form, though, do we? <laughs> That's a little overkill for just a little dude. I think ice form is more ideal if we need to CC a whole shitload of people, because it has the AoE capability, right? I'm not sure. The charge time is, is what makes it rough. But as we go on, we'll get more and more things to reduce our charge time on that, won't we? I think so. Alright. Let's see. Ooh, some corundum. May as well give it a pick. Here we go. Oh, I wonder if they added in a whole bunch of, like, ore vents and stuff near your housing plots and all that, right? Oh, that would be neat. That makes sense, too. Jeez, I'm very weighed down here. Ilya, I've please. Got your back. What do you want me to carry? All this ore that I've accumulated. Let's see. Corundum. Iron. Take some of this. These pelts as well. Very good. Okay. Should we get rid of this shit too? Yeah, we should. Definitely. What do these pods do? Huh. Nothing of great import. Okay. Should we mess with any of this other stuff? Give it to Ilya or something? Give her some dwarven arrows, I guess? Oh yeah, some of these glass boots. Why not? Oh yeah, Movarths. I almost feel like I should save them, right? Because they, they have the name. Though they don't have a unique model. Which kind of makes me think, eh, maybe not. Fuck it. Right? Lead on. Alright. Let's equip this. I need to finally, you know what? After like, nearly 60 videos, maybe I should finally figure out how the character binding stuff down here works so we can actually have a full loadout rather than just changing one item. Right? <laughs> Maybe I should finally do that. Oh, fuck. Alright. Over here. What is this? Oh, isn't that, um... Isn't the Dark Brotherhood house out around here somewhere? I'm not sure. Nah, I might be mistaken. There is some nightshade here, though. <clears throat> that doesn't bode too well. Uh-oh. You know what else doesn't bode very well? This. Oh! Oh no! What's happened here? Oh, that seems bad. That seems bad as hell. Look, there's just a chunk of... 
Of, I think this is the basic ass water, isn't it? Yeah, this is water from the mod. Oh, weird. Reality is being torn apart at its seams. Oh, jeez. What the fuck? Oh, look, there are actually a shitload of butterflies here. Should gather them. I'm pretty sure they've got pretty good uh, stuff for us, right? Okay. Oh, shit, there's a dude here. Whoa, sacred witness. Oh my gosh. Whoa, yeah, this is some Dark Brotherhood shit. A true history of the Night Mother. Whoa. I'm taking that. Huh. What the fuck? A burial urn. What is this place? I'm pr Did we read Sacred Witness in another game? I think we have. But I'm not sure. We'll have to double check. All right. Let's get on out of here. Past this fucked up water. Here, maybe if we do a quick save and a quick load, that'll fix it, do you think? Fingers crossed. Huh? Nope, nothing. Okay. We did it one time before and it worked, didn't it? Or maybe it was a full-on save. Oh shit. I'm a fool. Okay, hopefully this isn't deep enough to fuck me up. Alright. Yeah, the rest of this water is looking good. We'll just look the other direction and pretend it doesn't exist. <laughs> out of sight, out of mind. Alright. There are a shitload of... Like, ominous ruins and standing stones out over here in these swamps. Okay. Let's see. Do we have our whirlwind sprint here at the ready again? Yes, we do. Good, good, good. Uh Boom! Cool. Oh, look, some torch bugs as well. Oh, oh, I can't reach them. Oh, I finally got one. Huh? Oh, I got another one. Oh, not quite. Okay, this one? Yo, all but one. I'll take it. Can I, like, foos them? Can I foos them out of the air? Foof! Holy shit! Oh my god, you can? Whoa, 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 what? No way. Could you always do that? Holy shit! Dude, that's incredible. Oh my god, Ilya, what? Did you see that shit? I can just yell at them and they, like, explode. They're the only thing remaining, their butt. Holy fuck, if only we could do that to people. <laughs> then I could finally legit collect butts in this game. Damn. <laughs> oh, this is it. Oh, right. Okay, the house really just is not here at all. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> okay. Sure. We can, we can make this work. Oh, there's something there as well. What is it? Oh. Oh no, it's a Charis dude. It's a Charis Reaper. Okay. Let's get ready to rumble. Go. Good. Oh, I better eat, right? Let's see. Eat some wedge. Rabbit haunch. Am I good to go? Yeah, I'm satisfied. Fuck it. Charles Lords. Let's see, unrelenting force is equipped. Good, if we need it. Oh gosh, I can't even use it, can I? Huh. Oh, did I already did bug out or something? I guess so. Look at it, like, fucking ski around. Go back to tribes, you dickhead. Huh. Oh, there we are. Oh, I'm very cold right up here. Okay. Steal its fun eggs. All right. Man, this sucks. There's not even a fire out here or what? Oh, no, it's kind of warm here. Why is that? Oh, look at this shit. Oh, wow. Look, this is cool. Oh, let's read this. The Beginner's Guide to Homesteading. Okay. They put all this out here just in the frigid cold? If you're like most people, you've always dreamed of owning your own steading and building your own home. But where to start? Never fear, you hold in your hands the guide to everything you need to know. Before long, you'll be gazing complacently across your well-tended lands from the porch of your own manor house. Getting started. There are two vital pieces of equipment that the prospective homeowner needs, the drafting table and the carpenter's workbench. Your drafting table is where you'll lay out the plans for each stage of your new house. Don't worry about making a mistake here. 
you can always change your mind, and making a new plan costs you nothing. Remember, measure twice and cut once. Your carpenter's workbench is where you'll do the actual construction. Once you've settled on a plan at the drafting table, you can start building your house at the carpenter's workbench. Avoid the common beginner's mistake. Don't try to build the roof without building the proper supports first. Who does the common build it beginner's mistake? Starting with the roof? Oh my god! Yo, people in Skyrim Land are dumb! Space for the family. If you have a spouse or children, you'll certainly want to get the house in a livable state as soon as possible. Your loving spouse will no doubt make do with nothing more than a roof over her head and a bed to sleep in. But what about the children? Don't worry, all they need is a bed and a chest or dresser to store their treasures, and they will be perfectly content. Building Materials You will need a lot of supplies to complete your house, but it isn't necessary to gather everything you need ahead of time. Unless you're in a hurry, you can just build in stages as materials become available. You'll enjoy watching your home progress from dream to reality. The most common materials you'll need are sawn logs, cut stone, and clay. Luckily, these are plentiful in Skyrim. In fact, most building sites will come will have one or more easily accessible sources of clay and stone. For sawn lumber, any lumber mill owner will be glad to sell and deliver as much as you need. Oh hey, there's a lumber mill in Morthal, right? You'll need a lot of nails. Fortunately, even a novice blacksmith will soon find themselves turning iron into nails with ease. When you turn to furnishing your completed house, you'll need a much wider variety of materials. Some of them, such as straw and glass, are commonly obtained from general goods stores. For the rest, the whole of Skyrim will become your general store. <laughs> Hiring a steward. Once your estate is well established, you may wish to consider hiring a steward to help manage your affairs. A good steward can be invaluable, from hiring a carriage driver to buying a cow to keeping you supplied with building materials, freeing you to enjoy the fruits of your labors. Before hiring a steward, it's advised it's advisable to bring a potential candidate to your manor and observe whether they are a good fit for your requirements. Remember, you are putting your entire estate into their hands. You need someone you can trust implicitly building your house. The rest of this guide will review plans for each room that you might want to build. Oh my god. This is just going to be our reading for today, I guess. <laughs> Small house. Before you get too ambitious, gain confidence by building this tidy cottage. It is the perfect starter home, and you might turn out to be in it and might turn out to be all you need. But don't worry, if you decide to keep building, you can remodel this into an entryway to the rest of your house. Main Hall you may decide the small house is not enough. Perhaps you need room for a growing family. The next step is to add a main hall, which will turn your cottage into an imposing manor house. Two floors, including space for two small bedrooms, a back room, and a large dining area. Additions. Once you've built a main hall, your options become almost unlimited. You now have room to add three more additional wings, if you decide you still need more space. For each wing, you have three choices of what to build, giving a total of nine possible additions. But remember, you can only build three of them, so choose wisely. Oh shit, the west wing, bedrooms. The bedroom addition is perfect if you have a family who needs more comfortable living quarters than the main hall affords. The bedroom has space for a master bedroom, plus two children's beds, as well as the dressers, wardrobes, etc. that anyone could desire. This addition also includes a spacious exterior porch. 
West Wing Greenhouse. Ooh. Perhaps you are a gardener at heart. If so, the greenhouse provides room for planters where you can grow almost whatever you wish. Sheltered from Skyrim's harsh climate. Yo, let's get some histories. Tend and harvest your crops from the comfort of your own home. Could you imagine if you could do that and just turn everyone to gobos? Get gobo vision? West Wing, Enchanter's Tower. If your interests lie in the magical realm, this tower edition is for you. Conduct, conduct your research in privacy and comfort. Plenty of space for keeping your collections and artifacts organized. And the view from the tower is guaranteed to take your breath away. North Wing, Storage Room. If you simply need more space to store your many possessions and collections, build yourself a storage room. The included porch can be can even be connected to the porch on the east or west wings if you build the bedroom or armory additions. North Wing Trophy Room are you a big game hunter who wants to show off your prizes? The trophy room provides space for displaying up to seven magnificent mounted specimens of your choice, sure to amaze and impress your guests. Northwing Alchemy Laboratory. Perfect for the aspiring alchemist, this tower edition will give you plenty of space and storage to hone your craft in comfort. And when you need a break from the brewing from brewing potions, enjoy the view from the tower roof. East Wing Armory. If you like nothing if you like nothing better than to spend a day hammering metal or are simply a collector of armor and weapons, the armory is for you. With space for smithing as well as plenty of room to display your martial collections in style, the armory is the perfect addition to any house. East Wing Kitchen. The kitchen provides everything you need to pursue the highest culinary arts. Tired of cooking everything in a pot over a fire? You can even equip it with a newfangled oven! Try the egg pod today! East Wing Library. The library tower is sure to please those who value literature. With space for all the bookshelves you could desire, you'll be able to enjoy your collection of books in style. Or perhaps take a look, take a book to the tower roof and enjoy the view of your studying. Wow, that's the end. Okay, great. <laughs> well, we don't need this anymore. Get rid of that. So this is our workbench, our anvil, our little chest filled with... Oh my gosh, they gave us some shit to get started with. Oh my goodness. And here's log pile. Love it. Drafting table. Ooh. Small house layout. Oh my god. Buy lumber for building your house. Okay. Do you want to create this item? No. Not yet. Okay. I do, actually. It requires nothing. It's free. Use the carpenter's workbench to build the foundation of your house. Okay. Do I not need to pick up... Oh, the foundation. Okay. Quarried stone, 10 of them. How many do we have in here? Oh, we've got 30. Okay, let's do it. Man, I'm just gonna do this shit? Fuck, I'm fucking powerful as hell. Okay, did I, did I get it? Huh? Look at that, Ilya! Oh my gosh, we didn't even need a weird old man in a montage to do it. We just did instantly. Jeez. Building a house in in Tamriel has never been easier. <laughs> Good God. All right. Let's see. Anything else here? Oh, I need to do this, like... What is this? Wall framing? Ten nails. Okay. Let's see. Do I have nails in here already? Oh, I've got some of these. Okay. Let's take it. Anvil this shit up. Okay. Ten nails. Great. All right. And then, let's stick these two together. House walls, got need more eight, eight more nails. All right. There we go, good. Wow, this is actually like giving me smithing levels as well. Pretty fucking dope. Okay, let's see. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. It, yep, it's, it's house wall. Okay. Too bad you can't choose the style of it. That won't be until Elder Scrolls Six. Okay, let's get the floor, I guess, and the roof framing. Why not? Let's see. 
What else is going on? Oh my gosh, look at this, Ilya! I'm, I'm so good at building stuff! Fuck you, property brothers! Oh my god! <laughs> Who needs you? Alright, what do I need for this? Some more nails. Okay. Uh, ready for more nails. Let's get some more. Gonna need a lot of nails for a house, I guess. There we go. Fittings. Oh, jeez. Did I make too many nails? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, let's see. <laughs> Ilya, I think I made too many nails. Let's see. One lock, two hinge and iron fittings. Okay. <sighs> Fuck. Okay. Two hinge. Oh, shit. Ilya, I'm stupid as hell. Do you have any iron on you, Ilya? Look at this. We're really in Minecraft right zone you. now. <laughs> and you got any iron bars, Ilya? I need a new pick. <laughs> She's only got the fucking ore. <laughs> Let's take it. There we go. Do we need leather for anything here? We may as well just grab all this shit and dump it in our chest. Right? There we go. Good. You lead, I'll follow. Okay. Dump this shit up in here. Can we do this? Yeah, look. Oh, great. It's fine with us doing this. I love it. Okay. Put our stone up in there. These pelts. I'm guessing we might need leather. A wooden plate as well. I'll stick it in there. Why not? Okay. Cool, I guess. Weird. Let's look at what we've done so far, Ilya. What have I wrought? Oh, wow. Do I get warm inside? No, probably because there's no door, huh? Okay. Well, will it actually have a real ass interior with like a load screen and everything? I wonder. I'm assuming when they have because they're definitely gonna have some level of house building in elder scrolls 6 right they have to right <laughs> they're probably going to incorporate like a revamped version of of what we saw with settlement building in fallout 4 right and 76 as well well 76 has a lot of limitations compared to fallout 4 because of the multiplayer stuff right but nonetheless i'd expect we'll see something uh Maybe not even similar to it, but like a better version of what we saw there. All right, cool. Is there any iron around here? I mean, even if there were, we're kind of shit out of luck because we don't really have a smelter here at all. Jeez. Come on, this is like fucking Minecraft 101. Gotta get the smelter, get the coal. All right. It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Probably some around here somewhere. What's that? Ooh, what is that? Oh my god, these are horkers! Oh, this house is nearby horkers! Look at them! Oh, oh! oh. <laughs> they get hostile when you get close to them? They're like mammoths? Oh fuck, look at them go! <laughs> Ilya, look at them go! Yes! All right. <laughs> I always remembered them being totally peaceful. What the hell? I mean, I guess in real life, yeah, aren't, aren't like real life porkers really dangerous or something? Okay. Let's mark these poor porkers for death. Cree! Fuck yeah, look at him go, dude. Oh shit. He's pissed as fuck at me. Okay. Oh yeah, good him, Frodo. You won't, you won't get the best of me, you fucking horker. Uh, uh. There we go. Too bad I can't get one as like a. Aquatic mount. Oh shit! Look, we killed it. Yo, our um, our kill tracker thing is totally fucked up. We're tracking like the worker that's like a million miles away. What's up with this? All right, let's blast him, huh? Eat shit, worker. Mm! Yeah, I'm making bacon, baby. Oh fuck! <laughs> Yo, look at him go. <laughs> uh oh, there's another something over there that's kind of pissed at us. Okay. Can I even get over there without, like, dying? I'm afraid to jump on top of that. Uh, fuck it. Are there only basic hoarders, or horkers? Do we ever get, like, oh shit, level 50 horker death lord overlord, horker revenant, horker ice king, 
Ice King of the North, the big horker that banged that lady, the horker woman in the story. Take all that. There we go. All right. Let's run over here. Neat. Oh, horkers, so fun. I love them, which is why I killed them. <laughs> All right, in my defense, I didn't realize they would attack me on sight. <laughs> yeah, I was hoping there would be a ring in there. Okay, let's go on over here. Let's fuck with some horkers again. I love them. Let's see. Oh, no, wait, Iliot has, like, oh, we can't trade with her when she's in combat. Okay, we're in horker zone. Yeah, fuck that shit up. You better run, Horker. <laughs> I'm the Horker killing man. Yeah, look out. I'm gonna turn you into a fucking roof fitting or whatever the hell I need. There we are. Your soul is mine. Cool. <laughs> oh, what's that building? Is that our homestead? No. Oh, is this the Dark Brotherhood building? Is that what this is right here? Oh. <gasps> It might be. You, you know how we'll know? We go up to it and it has like a murderous name. It has a very like dark name like, Oh, the creepy ominous house by the shore. Uh-oh. Old scary house. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's find out. What do you bet? What do you bet it's got a creepy name? Look at this. Come on. What's your name, house? Oh, abandoned shack. Ooh, wee. <laughs> oh no, look! There's definitely murder going on here. Not only do they have the nightshade and death bell, but there's human blood all over it. Wow. <laughs> Alright, it's amazing that the Dark Brotherhood doesn't get caught more often. <laughs> I'm fairly certain this is it, right? <laughs> Let's take all these dope ass plants. There we go. And we'll make way for. None other than the beautiful, wonderful solitude. Oh my gosh, look at it. You can see it from down here. Oh, très magnifique. Okay, let's see. Let's get our super speed so we don't get super swept away. Do a quick save just as well, just in case. <gasps> yep. Good. Look at that. You can see it up in there in the Misty Mountains. Oh, look. Huh. Yeah, what the fuck's going on here? What is this? Come on. It's very clearly like where it, where the biomes change out. Maybe it's a bug with the mod itself, right? Maybe an oversight? Surely not. Cause it seems like this is how it's supposed to look when it leads out, right? It's streaming out toward that direction. But for some reason, not all of it is doing that? Weird. All right. Let's see, let's bring this shit up. Oh, full Gunther. Hmm. All right, let's head on up there. I don't even remember how, if we can access it from this area. Right. Oh, shit. Kind of on the lookout for that dragon we heard and saw earlier, but I think it really just fucked off. It just came by for a quick scream. Was letting out some frustrations. You know what? It's been a harsh year for everyone, including the dragons. <laughs> Gosh, could you imagine that? You come back, resurrected as a dragon or whatever the fuck happens to him. Y you were just, you know, having a good time wherever the fuck you were. Dead, I guess. <laughs> you didn't want to go through this again. Fuck. There we are. Top ourselves off a bit. Oh, look. Wow. Hey, speaking of sunbathing like a lizard. Look at us, we're like a monitor lizard on top of a fun big rock. Oh my gosh, we're on the high rock for sure. <laughs> Is that good? Oh, what's this? Oh, oh, that's the... Okay, yeah, that's the... What do you call it? Folgers, right? Yeah. Okay. There's a fun little encampment there as well. Should we investigate that? Who the hell lives over here? Are these like bandits or something? Huh. There's also a standing stone out here. Maybe we shouldn't mess with that just yet, because we may get a quest to head over there, right? Yeah, let, let's stay the course. We've already gotten distracted so fucking much. <laughs> We've still got a whirlwind sprint. Can we loot these things? The, um, these friends? Huh? Poof! Oh, 
Oh, fuck yeah. Wow. I love this shit, man. Wow, this is so great. If we ever see a shitload of them, we just need to foo some of the fuck up. Wow, what a discovery. Oh my gosh. I feel like I've uncovered some sort of, like, forbidden knowledge. Yo, look out, fucking giant, ominous, glowing orb that we found in the Mage's Guild. Step aside. Shoot some of this over here. Oh, shit, yeah. huh, did you see the water over yeah. there? Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> Good job, Ilya. But the water over here when we were up top... Yeah, we'll do it again. Weird. Let's see. Yeah, look. Huh. Weird. There's some weird shit going on. I don't like it, Ilya. Should've never... This is what I get for doing mods. Look at me. I'm some fucking old man. Can't be trusting mods. Oh, do you think we could foose birds and shit? Oh, those birds are so high up, though. Those are really high up birds. Okay. I don't think we could foose a bird from that far. Hang on, yo, look at all these things. <laughs> <laughs> they just drop out of the sky! Wow, they turn into wings! Oh my gosh, this is the dopest ability ever! I had no idea this was in the game! F fuck, where'd the rest of them go? I want to blast them as well. Jeez, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Alright, let's see. Cooking spit, what do I have to cook? Do I have something to cook? Oh yeah, I got some venison. And rabbit haunch. Oh, and of course the horker, of course, of course. Okay, can I get some beef stew going on? I need carrot and garlic. Okay. We'll just make this horker loaf. There we are. Cool. Anything over here? Maybe carrots or garlic? Purloined Shadows. I don't know if we've ever read this, actually. Oh, it's by Wohen Jarth. Huh, did you see that? Maybe we have read it then. We've read a lot of books by Wohen Jarth. Okay. Oh, listen, you can hear the, like... The buoy or whatever, the lighthouse or something. Ringing and dinging. Oh, I love that. Okay. Let's get on over there. Uh, well, that didn't work out quite as well as I was hoping, but you know what? <laughs> That'll do. There we go. Good. Oh, look at this. Still, it's got nothing on Anvil, huh? Fucking A. Anvil had such a good dock area, right? Oh, I loved it. Okay. Let's go on over here. Oh, you know what? We never checked out that stone. Should we check that out real quick? Yeah, let's check it out real quick. I don't think it's one that we needed, but we may as well unlock it on the map. Oh. Who am I in combat with? Just the crab? Is this just for a crab war? I guess so. Now you'll pay, crab. Let's take your kite. We'll leave the legs. Alright. Heal on up. Go on over here. Oh, look, there's some other little camp here. Look, someone's put up a... Oh, what are these called? These There's a specific name for this sort of tent that you call this. There's a very specific name for what that's called. Huh. I'm trying to remember. I think I think uh, they have them in grounded, right? And they use the correct name for them. Oh shit! Whew, I almost got stuck inside of it. Okay. Where's our fun standing stone at? Maybe this is the steed. I could see this being like the steed or something. Let's do a quick save. Huh. A moose out here. On the loose? Look at this, the creepy trees are back. Oh shit. The creepy flowers too. Alright. I do really hope that they keep... If not standing stones, but something similar to standing stones in Elder Scrolls 6. Oh, the apprentice stone. Oh, not really one we need, right? Okay, let's at least have a look here. Recover magicka faster, but are more susceptible to magicka damage. Huh. 
Okay. Here, Ilya. Take some of this. Too bad we can't have Ilya activated. What do you want me to carry? Like, is, I'm assuming this must be like a dragonborn only ability. I don't know. It's never really explained, is it? Huh. No, because in, um... Yeah, in, in Oblivion, there are similar stones all around that grant you boons and blessings. Just not like astrologically aligned stones or whatever, right? There we are. Good. Take all this. And how about our chitin and horker tusks? Wonderful. Oh, cool. We Lead have on. three soul gems, greater soul gems filled with crabs. <laughs> We're terrible. <laughs> We're a bad person. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Up to solitude before we freeze to freaking death. All right, we'll just cut through here, I guess. Through the water. It's a gentle rain. Look, it's a little warmer here, too. We're getting more heated up and warmed up. Okay. These are some creepy-ass witcher swamps, huh? Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's a dead rabbit. And now whatever killed it is coming to kill me! Oh, it's a Charis dude. Okay. Let's rumble. I didn't know they just fucking hung out here, huh? Whoa, it killed a fish too? Oh! Ah! Wow! Oh, shit! Oh my god, it got so big! Oh! Jeez! Why did- <laughs> You kill a horker or two, and suddenly you get a great load screen. Oh, it was worth it to die just to see that. Oh, I love them. They're so amazing, aren't they? Oh, god! God, they're so fast! Oh, what a sick bastard! Oh, I hate it. Oh, leave me. Leave me be, you sick fuck. Oh my god, it's gonna come over and get me. <laughs> Jesus. Its power is overwhelming. Okay. I've got my foos here at the ready. Good. This is very, very risky what I'm doing here coming in for this fight. Ooh, it vibrated. That doesn't seem good. Let's drink all this wine. Eat up. There we are. Oh, who is that? There's someone else here? Maybe that was my character. Oh shit, it's got an amethyst. Hmm, neat. Hey, Ilya. Huh, weird. It sounded like there was someone else out here. It was very eerie. Oh god, are we gonna get like murdered out here? Oh shit, I accidentally ate two porker loaves like a fool. Alright. Huh, <sighs> good. Man, that thing fucking one-shot me, huh? <laughs> Was it the poison damage? I don't know. Maybe. Sure doesn't seem great, though. <laughs> it seems real bad that that happened. All right, let's go on over here. Grab some of these. Oh, there's a fun crab here. Probably dead. Yeah. Likely killed by that piece of shit. Fucking creepy-ass Charis is just roaming around in the swamps. Dude, that is gnarly shit. Fucking scarier than the vampires, honestly. Ugh. I miss the fun bugs in Vardenfell. All the fun looking bugs and stuff, not like murder bugs. I do kind of like them though. <laughs> Give us more giant bugs to fight. I love that. Okay. Oh, look, speaking of giant bugs. Oh, no, wait, I think that thing's dead. Yo, the crabs murdered him, huh? Alright. Mark him for death here. Three. There we go. Look, my, my enemy health tracker is totally ah. fucked up. Let's heal on up here. Good. Alright, we need to get across this shit. Is this gonna kill us, though, to do that? <laughs> That's the real question, huh? Okay. I mean, there's some docks right there. That might be the best move. Let's see. 
Is this cold enough to, like, obliterate me? No. Yeah, we're fine. We can swim in this. Okay, cool. Okay, we can come up over here, huh? Let's see, can we actually navigate? Oh, shit. I can't jump out of it. There we are. All right. Should we go loop around? Oh, hey, there's some healing potion here. It's not even stealing. Oh, Ilya's like fishing for slaughter fishes. Okay. Some salmon in here. Just loose ass salmon. Neat. Ilya is still over there just shooting icicles inside of the water trying to like pierce them. Okay. Over here. Who is this? Let's do a quick save in case it's some like Charis master. Oh, look. Hey, we need to pick that stuff up. Let's see. Pick it. Whew. There we go. I don't like the idea of having our house by like five million fucking Charis, though. They might be one of the tougher enemies we've ever fought, right? Because of the poison. Hmm. We need to keep that in mind. Get some poison resist. Unless maybe they've just got inherent armor piercing? I don't know. I feel like the, the poison is what's doing us in from fighting them, right? But I could be off base with that. And I, I'm weary of placing all my bets on it being poison. And then not getting any dividends from poison resist. Hmm. Also, here's a question. Is it, um, is it more like Morrowind, where poison is separate? It does not fall underneath Magicka, right? So our resist all Magicka doesn't affect any incoming poison damage? Is that the case? I'm not sure. Hey, what's up, Living outside Huron? the walls is a risk, aye. But at least the guards don't come nosing around. Yeah, I hear that. We had some trouble a while back. Stormcloak tried to set the mill on fire, but we sorted her out. Jeez, set the mill on fire. Damn. All right. Let's see, what's over here? The Solitude Sawmill. I guess we could probably bill, or buy lumber and shit from these folks as well, right? Though I think, um, what do you call it, is closer. Look at this, they've got a little fun cubby hole in the side of their house. Weird. Oh shit. Leaks! Oh my god! <gasps> a million bazillion jillion leaks! Oh, the rarest plant of all! Holy shit, this farm is amazing! Wow! No way! Is it because we're in a different climate area? We just haven't been in the leak-appropriate climate? Hmm. And maybe that's why there's like no tomatoes out here. Because it's just too cold or something. Weird. Okay. Can we get, like, our own logs? Yeah, no, we probably have to purchase, right? Okay, let's head on up into town. There we go. Alright. We are on track. Oh, I do kind of wish that... I mean, it... Isn't it more realistic that the sails are furled up when they're docked like that? But at the same time, I kind of wish they were out. It'd be neat to see. See them all blustering in the wind and stuff. All the rigging and everything. I don't know. I'm a sucker for that shit. Yeah. Alright. Let's continue up. Ooh, look at this. What a beautiful ass fucking night, huh? With this nice little lantern here. Look at that. Oh. Look at this fucking blue-orange contrast. Holy shit. A feast for the eyes. Oh. Oh, I'm loving it. Okay. Oh, look. Little ponies and stuff. Head on over here. Best defense is a good defense. Am I right? Sure, dude. <laughs> Do you know anything good about defending yourself against giant murder bugs? Because I'm not looking forward to some of those quests in the future where we fight like five billion of them. I remember that shit. <laughs> I don't remember if it even was a quest, but I remember at one point in this game, I fought a shitload of them all together, and it was rough, even not on, like, max difficulty. Jeez. We'll have to keep some sort of, like, resistant shit at the ready, I don't know. Alright. Here we go. On our way to Solitude. Oh, look at that fucking- that is picturesque! Oh! I can't believe this game is, like, 
Nearly 10 years old. Sure, it's a special edition, but still. Oh. Oh. <laughs> knock, knock. Get ready for some real beautiful sights up in here if I remember correctly, right? <laughs> yep. Did hurt Uncle Rogmir? Tell them he didn't do it. Let's see, do we have a torch for this? No, we don't. Position. But we do have this. Far you need to go home. Go home and stay there until your mother comes. You betrayed us. I don't know, what's going on? Get on with it! Betrayed his high king. Best she know now, Advar. You're all heart, Vivian. Rogvir, you helped Ulfric Stormcloak escape the city after he murdered High King Torig. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solitude. He doesn't deserve to speak! There was no murder. Ulfric Torig. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Don't worry, dude. A dragon will come down any minute now. I know how this works. There's going to be a dragon that rips out of the sky. You'll be I fine. <laughs> oh, he's not fine. Ugh. It does really set the tone for it, doesn't it? Solitude is talked up as the fancy schmancy capital. And then the first thing you see when you get here is a grisly fucking beheading. Hey, everybody! Some gate guard you were! <laughs> Good riddance to bad rubbish, I said. The only thing from the crowd. Okay, there we go. <laughs> just so everyone else in silent shock. She just speaks up. Hey, fuck you! You were terrible at guarding that gate! I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. All right. If I should have drawn it out some more, he deserved a slower death. Good lord. A man opens a gate and they cut his head off? Doesn't seem right to me. Yeah, I hear you. It's been like this. You shouldn't leave solitude Rogfie. without trying our fish. Why did it have to Best be like in Skyrim. this? You're a good man. Not right now. Uh, this also kind of is an interesting way of like of like acknowledging how when you commit kind of basic ass crimes in in Skyrim land that people come out for your fucking blood right it isn't always that like <laughs> especially in um like sometimes they'll be like oh yeah do you want to go to jail or whatever sometimes they'll just be out to fucking kill you right Jeez. what is it dragons Though, that said, I think they're a lot better about not killing you on site for a minor crime in Skyrim compared to prior games, right? Especially fucking, <laughs> fucking Morrowind, if I remember correctly, right? <laughs> well, no. No, no, no. Yeah, they're, they're actually pretty good about it, right? In Elder Scrolls, of you getting the option of what the fuck to do when you get caught doing a crime? If anything, it's Fallout, where you do a minor crime and everyone's ready to blow your fucking head off, right? So, if anything, this is a bit of an oddity, right? Jeez. Alright. It's kind of interesting, though, that you can't ever get... Uh, set up for execution ever again, right? Only the once at the beginning. Right? Or maybe... Is there another quest where that happens? I don't think so. Alright. Well, here we are. Beautiful solitude. A man has been beheaded. Oh, does he have anything on him? I forget if we're meant to check his bod. Let's see. They just leave him up here. Oh shit, an amulet of Talus, of course. Of course. Well, this is our first one as well, isn't it? This is our very first amulet of Talos. Ugh. Look at this dude. Ugh. Poor guy. Jeez. Alright. There we are. There you have it. Should I foose his head off here? <laughs> should I should I do that? <laughs> hey, isn't this the, the place where that dude had, did the video of him, like, throwing cabbages inside of a basket? Here, look at me go. Oh, what do you think? Can I hit it on those barrels there, Elia? Huh? Oh, no! oh, oh, man, it really got stuck there. All right. <laughs> Can I, like, shield bash it or something? Can I shield bash the noggin? Oh, you kind of can. <laughs> Ooh, look, I can hit him, but the blood comes out of his body or something. <laughs> Ominous. Like it's still alive. Here we go. Let's... Oh, yeah! Oh! Oh, look! Oh, my God! 
Eat your heart out, Rocket League. <laughs> there we go. Wow, we actually fucking got over here. Wow, fucking corner pocket. All right. Great. Well, when next we come back, we probably will not be in solitude. We'll have traveled elsewhere to sort out business in other places. And then we'll come back and explore solitude for the first time on, uh, on video, right? That seems like the best bet, right? We'll head over to Windhelm and Riften, manage our inventory inside of those houses that we own over there, because we also need to haul some equipment over to our new, newly purchased facility out here, right? Our new manor, you call it? No, homestead, right? Isn't that the technical term? Whatever you call it, whatever the fucking building we bought. <laughs> the land that we bought and the building we were building. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> the building you're, we're building. What the fuck? All right. <laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>